Ross Mack. And I'm Andini. Welcome to the Finance Couch. Today, we're on a college campus in Los Angeles with financial consultant Ross Mack, helping students navigate their most common questions on their financial journeys as young adults. My name is Charles Alfredice the fourth, but you can call me Trey. Uh, I'm a junior here, and then I am from Las Vegas. I do talk money with my girlfriend a lot. Uh, we do try to figure out finances, but also we, we talk about a lot of long-term goals or where we want to be in the future, and then we ideally want to live together. And so what would finances have to be like in order for us to live together? But she's also been extremely helpful in terms of just kind of developing better financial habits for myself. Hello, hey. so nice to meet you both. Um, as I want to transition into life beyond college, I'm very curious about certain things. And so one of them is, um, would you say that debt is bad for you? But then also, would you say it's bad to have over a longer period of time? Is all debt bad? The short answer is no, not all debt is bad, right? You have to characterize it into two categories. Okay. You got good debt and you got bad debt. By definition, what is debt? You're borrowing money. The good debt is I'm borrowing money potentially to make more money or I'm borrowing money to potentially own an asset. Say I'm taking on business debt to now reinvest it back in my business to actually hopefully make more revenue. Another form of good debt is potentially getting a mortgage, right? Now, what's the bad debt? The bad debt is you borrowing money for things that are going to just deteriorate. Credit card loans for new clothes. When it comes to bad debt, it's generally gonna have higher interest rates. When you have high interest credit cards and bad debt, it's gonna continue to compound over time. That's one of the biggest downsides of it, right? Because your average credit card is having, what, like 24, 27% interest? They almost gamify it and make you think when you get ready to pay, oh, it looks easy, let me just pay the minimum. And you end up paying the minimum and and it kind of sucks you into paying it yeah. over a long, long period of time, right? If you can borrow $2,000 and you're paying, what, 30 something dollars every month? You might not pay it off to nine years, right? Because you're paying the interest and a very small percentage of the principal. Yeah. And so, yeah, the short answer is all debt bad? No, however, you gotta always remember how to characterize it. Okay. Having bad debt for a long period of time yeah. could really hinder you from truly getting to a place of being financially free. I don't recommend carrying any bad debt. Of course. Right, when I use credit cards for bad debt, I never use a credit card if I can't pay it off fully day of, right, or the next month. You don't wanna get into that hamster wheel of just paying that bad, you know, paying those minimum payments on those credit cards, you're gonna yeah. look up and it's gonna continue to compound and you're gonna end up paying a lot more than what you borrowed. Three X sometimes. Wow, damn. That's crazy. There is good debt and there is um, bad debt, but it's most important that you don't borrow stuff without, if you don't have that money already. Buying something that's not gonna help you long term or is kind of gonna degrade you, but also buying that on someone else's money or buying it with no money at all. Kind of avoiding those scenarios. I think it's like a lot of common sense scenarios where just, I hope to avoid that. Be sure to subscribe to Million Stories.